Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of Esther, and we'll be reading the last five chapters of the book, chapters 5 through 10. So I'd like to welcome you, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So let us go ahead, and if you have your Bible handy, please turn along with me to chapter 5, and we will continue through the book of Esther and so we uh, are on chapter 5, so a little review of what has happened so far is that um, King Ahasuerus has uh, called uh, Queen uh, Vashti out, and she refused to come out, and so then he was wroth with her, and then he um, took her and uh, put her away and kicked her out of the palace, so to speak, because she was being rebellious. And so instead of submitting and obeying him, and so he, um, so we read about that and how that would cause all the other women in the land to want to disobey obey their husbands and stuff. And then, so then he looked for a uh, virgin maiden to uh, be his new queen, and he found Esther, who was a Jewish woman, and then Mordecai uh, was uh, coming in to check in on her, and then Haman came in and was uh, King uh, Hazarus' right-hand man, and so he didn't like Mordecai, so he was wanting to uh, kill him and the rest of the Jews, and so then he sent a uh, letter to um, to uh, Esther and told her that she would not escape if she thought that she was going to be safe in the king's palace, that she was wrong, and so then now she's going to go to the king and ask for... Uh, him to uh, be merciful, and so we'll see what happens uh, with that. Amen. All right, so chapter 5 and verse 1 says, Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house, and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house. And it was so, when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Then said the king unto her, What wilt thou, Queen Esther, and what is thy request? It shall be even given thee in the half of the kingdom. And Esther answered, If it seem good unto the king, let the king and Haman come this day unto the banquet that I have prepared for him. Then the king said, Cause Haman to uh, make haste, that he may do as Esther hath said. So the king and Haman came to the banquet that Esther had prepared. And the king said unto Esther, At the banquet of wine, what is thy petition? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? Even to the half of the kingdom it shall be performed. Then answered Esther, and said, My petition and my request is, If I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it please the king to grant my petition, and to perform my request, let the king and Haman come to the uh, banquet that I shall prepare for them, and I will do tomorrow as the king has said. Then went Haman forth that day joyful and with a glad heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, that he stood not up nor moved for him, he was full of indignation against Mordecai. Mordecai. Nevertheless, Haman uh, refrained himself, and when he came home, he sent and called for his friends and Zeresh, his wife. And Haman told them of the glory of his riches, and the multitude of his children, and all the things wherein the king had promoted him, and how he had advanced him above the princes and servants of the king. And you would think he would be happy with all that, but no, he's upset because of Mordecai. Uh, Haman said, moreover, Yea, Esther the queen did let no man come in with the king unto the banquet that she had prepared but myself to and tomorrow 
am I invited unto her also with the king. Yet all this availeth me nothing, so long as I see Mordecai the Jew sitting at the king's gate. Then said Zerath, uh, Zerath his wife, and all his friends unto him, Let a gallows be made of fifty cubits high, and tomorrow speak that thou unto the king, uh, that Mordecai may be hanged thereon. Uh, that then go thou in merrily with the king unto the banquet, and the king pleased Haman, and he caught and he caused the gallows to be made. Chapter six. On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king, and it was found written that Mordecai, uh, or you can say Mordecai, I'm Mordecai had told uh, of Bigthena and Tirish, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hands on the king Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor and dignity hath this done to Mordecai? Um, he said, What honor and dignity hath, the, hath been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that, the, uh, that he had prepared for him. And the king's servants said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delighted to do honor more than to myself? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighteth to honor, let the royal apparel be brought with which the king useth to wear, and the horse that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. And let this apparel uh, and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man withal whom the king delighted to honor, and bring him on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighteth to honor. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste, and take the apparel and the horse, as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai, the Jew that sitteth at the king's gate. Let nothing fall of all that thou hast spoken. <laughs> then took Haman the apparel and the horse, and arrayed Mordecai, and brought him on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor. And Mordecai came, again to the king's gate but haman hated to uh hate or hasted to his house mourning and having his head covered and haman told zerath uh, his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him then said his wife uh or his, then said his wise man or men and zerath his wife unto him if mordecai be of the seed of the jews before whom thou hast begun to f uh, fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shall surely fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king's chamberlains, and hasted to bring Haman unto the banquet that Esther had prepared. Uh-oh. <laughs> Chapter 7. So the king and Haman came to the banquet with Esther the queen, and the king said again unto Esther, on the second day at the banquet of wine, what is that thy petition, Queen Esther? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? And it shall be performed even to the half, half of the kingdom. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at my petition, and my people at my request, for we are sold. I and my people to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwomen, I had held my tongue. 
although the enemy could not contra, uh, countervail the king's d damage. Then the king Ahasuerus answered and said unto Esther the queen, Who is he, and where is he that durst uh, presume in his heart to do so? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And the king, arising from the banquet of wine in his wrath, went into the palace uh, garden, and Haman stood up to make request for his life to Esther the queen, for he saw that uh, there was evil determined against him by the king. Then the king returned out of the palace garden into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was fallen upon the bed whereon Esther was. Then said the king, Will he force the queen also before me in this ho in the house? As the word went out of the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. And Harbona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows fifty cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, standeth in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. Mm. Chapter 8 uh, On that day did the king Ahasuerus give the house of Haman, the Jew's enemy, unto Esther the queen. And Mordecai came before the king, uh, for Esther had told what he, ha was, what he was unto her. And the king took of his ring, which he had uh, taken from Haman, and gave it unto Mordecai. And Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. And Esther spake yet again before the king, and fell down at his feet, and besought him with tears to be put, uh, to put away the mischief of Haman and the Agite, and his device that he had devised against the Jews. Then the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther. So Esther arose and stood before the king, and he said, "If it please," uh, and said, "If it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I will be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman, the son of uh, Ham Hamadatha, the Agite." which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the king's provinces. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come upon my or unto my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? Then the king of Hazareth said unto Esther the queen, and to Mordecai the Jew, Behold, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and him they have hanged upon the gallows because he laid his hand upon the Jews. Uh, write ye also for the Jews, as it liketh uh, you in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring, for the writing which is written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man reverse. Then were the king's scribes called at that time in the third month, that is, the month Sivan, on the three and twentieth day thereof, and it was written according to all that Mordecai commanded unto the Jews, and to the lieutenants, and to and the deputies, and the rulers of the provinces which are from India unto Ethiopia, and hundred twenty and seven provinces, unto every province, according to the writing thereof, and unto every people after their language and to the Jews according to their writing, and according to their language. And he wrote in the king Ahasuerus' name, and sealed it with the king's ring, and sent letters by posts on horseback, and riders on mules, camels, and young uh, dromedaries, uh, wherein the king granted the Jews, which were in every city, to gather themselves together, and to stand for their life, to destroy, to, dis to slay, and to caused to perish all the power of the people and province that would assault them, both little ones and women, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. Upon one day in all the province of King Ahasuerus, 
namely upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar, the copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province which er, was published unto all people, and that the Jews should be ready against that day to avenge themselves on their enemies. <clears throat> so the posts that rode upon mules and camels went out, being hastened and pressed on by the king's commandment, and the decree was given at Sh uh, Shushan the palace, and Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white, and with a great crown of gold, and with a garment of fine linen and purple, and the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad. The Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. Amen. And in every province and in every city, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness and a feast and a good day. And many of the people of the land became Jews, for the fear of the Jews fell upon them. Chapter 9. Now, in the twelfth month, that is, the month Adar, on the thirteenth day of the same, when the king's commandment and his decree drew near to be put in ex execution in the day that the enemies of the Jews hoped to have power over them, though it was turned to the contrary, that the Jews had rule over them that hated them, the Jews gathered themselves together in their cities throughout all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus to lay hand on such as sought their hurt, uh, their hurt, and no man could withstand them, for the fear of them fell upon all people. And all the rulers of the provinces and the lieutenants and the deputies and officers of the king helped the Jews, because the fear of Mordecai fell upon them. For Mordecai was great in the king's house, and his name, or, and his fame, excuse me, his fame went out throughout all the provinces. For this man Mordecai, or you can pronounce it Mordecai, uh, waxed greater and greater. Thus the Jews smote all their enemies with the stroke of the sword, and slaughter, and destruction, and did what they would unto these or those that hated them. And in Shushan, the palace, the Jews slew and destroyed five hundred men, and Parshendatha, and Dothphon, and A Aspatha, and Poratha, and Adila, and Aradatha, and Parmeshta, and Ar Arlisai, and Aradai, and Jesatha, the ten sons of Haman, the son of uh, the son of Hammedatha, the enemy of the Jews, slew they, but on the spoil laid they not their hand. On that day the number of those that were slain in Shushan the palace was brought before the king, and the king said unto Esther the queen, The Jews have slain and destroyed five hundred men in Shushan the palace, and the ten sons of Haman. What have they done in the rest of the king's provinces? Uh, now, what is thy petition? And it shall be granted thee. Or what is thy request further? And it shall be done. Then said Esther, If it please the king, let it be granted to the Jews which are in Shushan to do, or to do tomorrow, also according unto this day's uh, decree, and let Haman's ten sons be hanged upon the gallows. And the king commanded it so to be done, and the decree was given at Shushan, and they hanged Haman's uh, ten sons. For the Jews that were in Shushan gathered themselves together on the fourteenth day, also the month Adar, and slew three hundred men at Shushan. But on the prey they laid not their hand. But the other Jews that were in the king's provinces gathered themselves together, and stood for their lives, and had rest for their en or from their enemies, and slew of their foes seventy and five thousand, but they laid not their hands on the prey. On the thirteenth day of the month Adar, 
and on the fourteenth day of the same rested they, and made it a day of feasting and gladness. But the Jews that were at Shushan assembled together on the thirteenth day thereof, and on the fourteenth day thereof, and the fifteenth day of the same they rested, and made it a day of feasting and gladness. Therefore the Jews of the villages that dwelt in the unwalled towns made the fourteenth day of the month Adar, uh, a day of gladness and feasting, and a good day, and of sending portions one to another. And Mordecai wrote these things, and sent letters unto all the Jews that were in all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus, born both nigh and far, to establish this among them, that they should keep the fourteenth day of the month Adar, and the fifteenth day of the same yearly, as the days wherein the Jews rested from their enemies in the month which was turned unto them from, from, our, uh, from sorrow to joy, and from mourning into a good day, that they should make them days of feasting and joy, and of sending portions one to another, and gifts to the poor. And the Jews undertook to do as they had begun, and as Mordecai had written unto them, because Haman, the son of Hamaditha, the Agite, the enemy of all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them, and had cast purr, that is, the lot, to the, consume them, and to destroy them. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged, on the gallows. Wherefore they called these days Purim, after the name of Pur. Therefore, for all the words of this letter, and of that which they had seen concerning this matter, and which had come unto them, the Jews ordained and took upon them, and upon their seed, and upon all such as joined themselves unto them, so as it should not fall, or that fail, uh, fail. Sorry, that should not fail. That they sh uh, would keep these two days according to their writing and according to their appointed time every year, and that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation, every family, every province, and every city, and that these days of Purim should not uh, fail from among the Jews nor the uh, memorial of them uh, perish from their seed. Then Esther the queen, the daughter of Abihail, and Mordecai the Jew, wrote with all authority to confirm this second letter of Purim, and he sent the letters unto all the Jews to the hundred twenty and seven provinces of the kingdom of Ahasuerus with words of peace and truth. Uh, to confirm these days of Purim in their times appointed, according to uh, according as Mordecai the Jew and Esther the queen had enjoined them, and as they had decreed for themselves and for their seed the matters of the fi fastings and their cry, and the decree of Esther confirmed these matters of Purim, and it was written in the book, chapter ten. And the king Ahasuerus laid a tribute upon the land, and upon the isles of the sea, and all the acts of his power, and of his might, and the declaration of the greatness of Mordecai, whereunto the king advanced him, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of the Med of Media and Persia? For Mordecai the Jew was next unto king Ahasuerus, and great, among the Jews, and accepted of the multitude of his brethren, seeking the wealth of his people, and speaking peace to all his seed. Amen. And that, my friend, is the end of the book of Ru uh, Esther, Ruth Esther. So, praise the Lord. And tomorrow, we will be starting in the book of Job for the first day of June. So we're reading 
Job chapters 1 through 4, and this is the oldest book in the Bible, amen? So we will be starting in Job chapters 1 through 4 tomorrow. So as always, I want to thank you for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until tomorrow when we'll be back for the daily devotional and then the Bible reading in the afternoon. So hope you'll join me again for that, amen? And we're going to try to do something new for the daily devotional instead of reading proverbs uh next month we're going to try to read a couple of different books uh starting the book of hosea uh and we'll do that with the devotional uh time so we'll do the book of uh, hosea and then um pick another book after that's done so i'm not sure which book we'll do after that but we'll start in hosea and then read those um chapters from that book and then pick another book as soon as we're done with that one amen so we'll try to do a few different uh, books in the Bible, maybe a couple from the Old Testament and a couple from the New Testament, amen? So that'll be part of the Baptist Bread devotional time. So we'll do the scripture song and then the devotional reading and then dive into the book of Hosea and then we'll read that for, I can't remember how many chapters are in Hosea. So let me go see here really quick. Hosea and we'll see here there are let's see so 14 14 chapters so we'll read uh maybe we'll do one each day read a chapter or two chapters each day um all the way up to the 14th uh, chapter and then after that we'll pick another book amen all right well until next time may the lord richly bless you again and remember, Jesus saves, so must believe on him if you want to have eternal life. And <clears throat> excuse me, and go be with him in heavenly places. Amen. All right. Well, till then, uh, till tomorrow. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.